Alrighty, twins. It's time to take a look into your energies and see what you all need to know. I want to use the angel cards uh, first. What do the twin flames need to know, Holy Spirit? What do the twin flames need to know? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So here, the here is the angel of finance and the angel of psychic ability. Honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. Some of you all are going to receive some sort of financial abundance, some sort of I heard financial assistance. There's also going to be many ideas that you are going to birth out through your um third eye. Something is being shown to you from the spiritual realm. Things are um you're manifesting things from a different dimension. Di dimension. Some of you all. Hold on, guys. I keep being drawn to this other deck. Let me find it. Hold on. Oh, let me see. Oh, shucks. Spirit is keep pulling me towards those digs. All right, so um, money is coming. Money ideas, jobs, and something as well. Also, some of you all could be experiencing like uh, nasal issues, sinuses, stuffiness, uh, sinus or cold-like flu symptoms in this these next few days, next few weeks. Um, your lips could be a little more drier than um, usual. Get you some... Keep your lips moisturized, okay, because you're going to be receiving information from a different galaxy. So there's going to be a higher and a, a potent energy. Your psychic abilities definitely are going to be heightened. Your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. So the reason why is because there's something the Holy Spirit wants you all to know about individually yourselves, of course, as well as each other. Lastly, I knew it. Angel of manifestation, you're manifesting from a higher dimension, from completely from the spiritual realm. Now, the thing of the matter is, some of you all are needing to connect with each other for different reasons, or the spirit just wants you all to have some sort of um, head-on collision where you see each other, uh, run into each other, or just casually. Uh, I don't know, have a meet each other, have a conversation. I don't know. I just keep hearing meet up, meet up, meet up, meet up over and over and over and over and over. Meet up, meet up, meet up, meet up. There's a meet up that's being orchestrated from the spiritual realm. Um, lastly, your efforts, your efforts, determination, and per perseverance have paid off. Whatever you've done, God is satisfied with it. I keep hearing this um is reaping season also. Some of you are in a very favorable season to reap something that you have been um that you have had stored up. Some of you are gonna reap money, other you are gonna others of you are going to reap financial, um uh, not financial, um, but spiritual abilities, how to operate in your gift or your craft or your ability better and or more. All right, Holy Spirit. What do the twins need to know? Definitely. Queen of Wands, the spiritual guru. You're stepping into your spiritual guru energy. And this is something that... Um, oh, Someone here may want to check their placement for Jupiter. Because something is... Yeah. Honey, you fit in a multiply. Big time. There's something you don't know about yourself. And this could be your ancestors, like um, your forefathers, foremothers, something they are bestowing upon you at this time. This is to change. I heard change, reorchestrate, reorganize, and redo your life. What you're being given or what you're being gifted with is going to change your life drastically. Uh-huh. You definitely are going to go into a whole new season of manifesting your wishes, your dreams. Things are going to start happening very quickly. Now, this could also be because the energies are pulling you all together. Because one of you all could be manifesting off of the other. Or this, this seems like it could be unknowingly. But by you doing that, that's what's pulling your twin closer to you. Because you're manifesting from a spiritual level, but it's, it's it's alerting your twin to be drawn to you all of a sudden. 
It's also given if one person has something lying dormant in them, it's activating that. So someone here could see something, sense something, know something. Also, you may have that whole um I forgot what I forgot the particular name of it, but it's where you start feeling situ you know, like I said, sickness. It could be sickness, it could be thoughts, it could be dreams. Um but you're having, you're experiencing something for your twin. This is when God shows you who you are a lot as well, also as a twin. All right, Holy Spirit. I have a rare message to give somebody. Somebody here, either you or your twin, somebody has been bamboozled with religion. And this is an intuitive message I'm being told to tell you because the words twin flames are not in the Bible. Someone here has been confused about this journey and that could have caused them confusion about who their twin is because someone here has been, I'm just going to say it how I hear it, they've been being beat with a religious belt. That's why God is heightening them. Whoever is having this heightenedness of these spiritual abilities, honey, this is coming from a different dimension. Uh, and I'm telling you, it's pulling your twin. You're making your twin learn something through you, whether you know it or not. It could be also draining you a little bit, tiring you out. You could also be, you know, like I said, dealing with sinus colds, um, sinus issue, cold issues, flu-like issues or something like that. Your mouth could be dry. It's because you, you are obtaining a lot of information from a higher dimension. And that's why the Holy Spirit is doing this because it's making your person, it's forcing your person to see not only the natural, but the supernatural. They're forced to see beyond what they've been told, beyond what they've been explained, beyond what they've been taught. You're breaking and you're snatching a veil off their um, eye. That, that's what that is. So God is using you to break a yoke off your twin. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> Y'all, excuse me, my sciences truly are acting up. Uh, what do they need to know? What it See here? Somebody has walked away from a spiritual contract, and that's what it is. Who, whichever one it is of you all that walked away, that's how your twin knows. Because your twin, their life could be changing. It's dwindling. Closed doors. When when your twin walks away, and this is after knowing who your twin is. Hold on one second. Love bugs. You hear that wind? That's exactly why I went into this reading. Because something is going on in the spiritual world. So, therefore, it makes things happen on a 3D level, on the physical um, area of life. Your person, let's let's say, let's say you, you let's let's say you walk away from your person. Your person will now see how attached you are, how attached you all are in the spirit. And it's I say in the spirit, y'all. It's my Invisaligns. I have my new trays in, so you have to bear with me. Um, they're going to see how aligned you are in the spirit. And they're also going to see how much their spirit needed you. This is someone here. They they played in and out of a soul contract. And somebody here finally walked off. This is also someone here who has become very defensive. And because you become not only defensive, but you become internally. It's like you are an internal... internal um, Oh, Lord, Jesus, what's that word I just heard in my head? Hold on, guys, give me a second. Discerning magnet. You can, and you are, and you are, like, it's like you are walking around as an internal magnet of discernment. There's been a break, a, a great divider, a breakdown between two people. I don't know why somebody here has been tricked though. Something is going on with the religious debate or something like that. Your twin could have been trying to find his or herself. And this is finding their self like in God, where they belong. But unfortunately, they went off of what other people told them a little too much. And in learning this soul contract, something is tied to their finances. This person could be taking a drastic hit financially. 
since you walked away. And also, when you walk the way, you're being closed off from this individual, meaning they can't access you the way they uh, used to. If it was intuitively, telepathically, they can't penetrate you the same because God has heightened. They have to come up. And coming up is into a, 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 a inward knowing. Like, they know that they know that they know that they are. It's not about that I'm supposed to be with you stuff. I know who I am. Somebody here was like, okay, I'm not a part of this whole twin flame journey. You know, this is not... This is not of God. It's not in the Bible. But they, they, had, they had stagnation and complacency on one plane of life. God is causing this person to come up. And that's why you had to walk away so they can see. Your person is going through a drought. They, Of course, they could be being pruned and, and things of that nature. But he's breaking their life down to show them the difference. This is what you were getting while you were connected to this person. This person has walked away from you. And this is an emotional detachment. See, there's no cord to cut between twins. You can get your emotions to a solid place and you're not emotionally available. I'm walking away. I will only, I'm, I'm not going to just use logic. I'm going to use my intuition, but I cannot be available for you emotionally. When there's an emotional breakdown, you see people for who they are and what they are. And you begin to look at them. Although they're your twin, you're just a player. You're a person trying to figure out who you are. You're a person that's in and out. You're scattered. Your energy is very scattered. You know something, but you still want to play around that's the thing you pull back emotionally and that's the easiest most vulnerable way to connect with your twin emotionally connects you right to the spirit you walked away emotionally and by walking with somebody somebody here has walked away emotionally and by doing that it puts you in a very solid place no come at me with truth or come go hard or go home and this is what god is saying to your person it's almost like somebody here is being forced to come out of a certain type of method. Something seems, I keep hearing religion. Somebody could have someone around them that's very religious. I'm going to call for the hermit. Yep. See this right here, the ace of wands and the um fool card. And this is your person been doing. They look smart, self. They call themselves, although they told these people or this person, you know, they're not looking into certain things. They, you, it's almost like they've been trying to play two sides of the fence. And and for some of y'all, this person right here has been doing a, a whole heck of a lot. They've been trying to please someone else and make someone believe that they did not believe in this twin flame journey all along. Not only do they, they've been looking into it and being more initiated in the spirit, but through you. And this is where somebody could have been like pulling something from you. To give them finances, resources and outlets to finances. And this person was keeping you on an emotional hook. Uh-uh. This was a divine intervention that took place. And this was to stop manipulation and for someone to make a choice about their life. Now, this is not, again, I want—I just want to say this is not a choice about, you know, a twin being with the twin. But you're not going to benefit from the twin flame journey. And then behind, you know, around certain people, you say, oh, that ish isn't real. You know, that's that hocus pocus. You're not going to bash it and then benefit from it. Somebody here was doing that. So somebody, here, because I hear repercussions, something is going on to where somebody here has been struck in their finances, their abilities could be all, all skewed. You know, their mindset could be drained. You know, they could be causing themselves, they have caused or causing themselves other issues because they played two sides of the fence. Okay. You're right. This thing is, this is, I see this nowhere in the Bible. I don't see it anywhere in the Bible. I believe you. I hear somebody saying, I believe you. But at the same time, they see a, a component of money. This person was trying to pimp a twin or the twin flame journey. Side note, pause right there. That's why I am not taking any gifts from anyone. I'm not wearing anybody else's products. I'm not using anybody else's card because the Holy Spirit just recently revealed this to me. Somebody is trying to leak or seed their uh like their work into the tarot community to get it, you know, acknowledged, recognized, and people support their business. So somebody here is trying to use a twin 
to promote a business, but discreetly. You could be sensing that. I want to give you this product and try it out, you know, something like that. Not that market affiliate thing. You know, that's where you get compensation from that. But this is someone being strategic. Like, let's say somebody offer you a bracelet and it has, you know, and, and they really are sending it to you because, you know, your platform is large, big. Yeah. And if you wear their bracelet, people say, you know, and you say, oh my God, I love this bracelet. Such and such and such gave me this. That's the whole point because they're going to, they know people are going to come from your platform to wherever they are and patronize their business. But yet they talk bad, they talk bad and they bash the twin or twin flame journey. If this is a twin doing this, this is deadly as hell. This person going to surely die for this, whether it be a physical or a spiritual death. That's what somebody has been trying to pimp this journey but that's why i'm not taking nothing from nobody i'm not wearing nothing from nobody's because i saw that just a couple weeks ago and i didn't know why but this reading has helped me it makes a whole lot of sense so some of you all could you know even if it's not about you just so much having a platform to where you're doing tarot you could be someone that have a large following on instagram tiktok you know facebook twitter you know you could be a part of a certain group society social club or something like that and you're being profiled twin specifically and they're trying to i got y'all my throat hold on <clears throat> what the heck was that <clears throat> hold on a minute honey <clears throat> oh, goodness, excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. Somebody here thinks they're very smart. If this is let's let's say it's your twin, this is being done to unbeknownst to them. They have yoked up with a financial harlot. Every third party is not another person. They are a lover and a luster after money. And they will extort a certain group, a society, or something like that for their selfish gain. That's what they're doing. This is, this is extremely dangerous. Your person doesn't have the ability to either manifest something, create something. Someone is co-creating with someone unbeknownst to them. Or so they think. And they're trying to master something off of you. But the thing of the matter is they don't support you or they don't believe in it. Something is divided between religion and spirituality. It's like the, the twin flame community is good to make money off of, but not to be a part of. I don't know who's doing this, but I'm just going to say it again. This is very dangerous. And somebody here, yeah, they, they have really, really good ideas, but I knew it. They're going to be heartbroken, disappointed, and stuck. And things are going to slow down for them because the Holy Spirit is going to reveal who's doing this to you now. I don't know how this reading going to apply to people, but I don't know if you all have ever heard that term, parking lot pimping. My left eye just started jumping like crazy. Parking lot pimping is what's going on here. People sitting back and they're watching these soul contracts, but they're causing people to walk away from the soul contract. Someone is doing something I hear like misleading, inter like misleading intentionally. And this misleading brings them a level of I don't know if it's fame. I don't know if it's just money. But this is a hermit here. This person has been learning about this journey. If you and your twin are like, you know, interacting, doing things together, then there's a hermit around you all that's trying to capitalize off you financially and your abilities. You are a hot commodity. Somebody here, you're, you're a very, you're a hot commodity. I keep hearing the word group to a certain group or to a certain select of people. Certain people want your finances and your spiritual ability. This is that spiritual rate, spiritual molestation. 
but this is where a person is thinking they're taken from you, but somehow they're keeping you and your twin divided on a physical level. That's where the Holy Spirit, one of you all are likely ascending um, with your abilities and a certain gift or gifts. Ancestors are bestowing things unto you and it's causing you to go up. There's a spiritual initiation, another level here. And this level will help you see, because I hear minions. You all have minions around you all. Some of you all could be, you know, entrepreneurs. You could be businessmen, businesswomen. But you have um, leeches. And I heard the word serpents. You have people sliding right around you with plans, motives, and intentions. They do not believe in the twin flame journey. But they see the benefits of it financially, how they can capitalize off of it. I just want to say again, if this is a a twin, a twin misleading their twin, this is going to backfire on them so bad. This person will go broke and they will be revoked in the spirit. What's the hermit doing? Yep. I, I knew it. Because I kept seeing this. Somebody is truly misleading you all. And this is for financial gains. Some of you all have a financial serpent sucking from you. I see a financial leech. And this is in the spirit. They see. And these are people that are looking into your lives spiritually. And they know the truth. This can be you and your twin that this is happening to. And what they're doing is they think they are capitalizing off your gift, off your ability, um, and, and using it to manifest money. But what it's causing is you all to come together. There's something that's merging that's pulling you all together from a different galaxy and that's what's causing this union to want to take place because some well, i don't know it could be both of y'all both of y'all could have someone that sees something about you all that you may not see just yet and they're being very strategic to keep you all apart from knowing or discovering the truth and someone is using religion so one of you all could be a little more religious than spiritual but it's a tactic Others, let me say this also. Let's let's say this. You know, you say, "Well, AEL, I'm not making any money." You know, I'm I'm not I'm not I don't resonate with that part. Some people are trying to suck from you, from your lobes and your spirit, your ideas. There's something very suspicious going on here. Extremely suspicious. There's some sort of spiritual pimping, some sort of spiritual prostitution. And this is some sort of spiritual manipulation with the um, with the intentions of gaining finances, riches, and wealth, and to leave you out poor. Those of you all that understand, like, you know, destiny swapping, it's like someone is trying to get close to you to learn everything that you think you can do, and they do it themselves. This is someone trying to mirror you. You and your twin are being mirrored by other people. Both of you all may have clones in your life that want to be like you, but they want your blessings of your finances because they know that this is a true soul contract with the justice card being here first. They identify, they identify with the, the blessings of it. But somehow or another, they're stealing it, trying to, I'm going to say trying to steal it from you because it's not happening down here. What's the seven of swords, Holy Spirit? What's the seven of swords? So this is where God will show you who your person is. And, you know, if someone, let's say someone is trying to keep you or your twin from the other, you know, trying to make you feel like, oh, God didn't say anything about twins and, you know, all, all that what they're doing is they're using reverse psychology to make you feel some sort of way and bound to a certain particular subject, doctrine, or something like that. Something has a doctrine um, component to it. Somebody is te somebody doing some false teaching. Now, just this, this somebody talking directly in somebody's ear doing some straight up false teaching to keep a twin from a twin, but yet benefit from a twin financially someone could be trying to instruct your twin or they have been encouraging your twin to take something from you to it's almost like they're trying to like they what i'm really seeing is like someone is trying to 
make your twin feel comfortable stealing from you, manipulating you, but it's for their selfish gain. Somebody here has a whole plan. What's the seven of swords? The sun card. But they about to get exposed. Oh my God. Y'all. This really could be somebody twin that's doing it. Because they had you in a very emotional place. And your twin lied about believing in the twin flame journey. But they're capitalizing off of it. If it's not your twin, it's someone that's misleading your twin to be sneaky and manipulative. And it's almost like they're trying to make your twin look at you like, like you're nothing. You're not going to, you know, you don't matter. Oh, my God. What's going on here? I did, oh my God. The four of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the king of wands. Somebody has an opportunist around them. I really hope this is not anybody's twin. But what it's doing is, it's making that person long for you and want you even the more. Look here. The justice card and the three of cups. It's making this person want you even the more. This is some sort of tactic that's going on. And mm, this is dangerous. This is low key. I don't want to say scary, but this is a little weird. Because somebody feels like they can pull from you, or somebody has been. And this whole thing is to hold you back, but keep you all apart. Somebody is meant to be like, um, I heard demise, demise, demise. Hold on, let me, I forgot what that was. Let me, demise. Is, is it planning someone's demise? Demise. Hold on, demise, demise. Demise. Mm. Oh my God. Convince or transfer a property or title by demising. Somebody here has looked into your life, honey, big time. There's a legal component to something. This is spiritually legally, a spiritual law. This this person has violated a spiritual law. A spiritual royalty law. I don't, I don't know who the hell is doing this. But they are planning your demise. It's almost, you know what a lease and a sublease is? Like someone is trying to get your twin to sublease your energy to them. You know how we say, you know, they sold their soul to the devil. That's what's going on here. There's a subcontractor somewhere. Your twin, I got it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your twin could be contracted in with a majestic, manipulative contractor. That contractor is keeping you all apart very strategically. But somehow misleading your twin to pull from you. This subcontractor has been planning your person's demise to destroy him or her and destroy you in the process Y'all are being robbed. <laughs> Both of y'all being robbed, honey. Somebody getting a hell robbed out of them spiritually, honey. Let me look back at this one more time, y'all. Hold on a minute. Now, some of y'all this could be going on a legal, like a legal standpoint or a financial standpoint, but somebody here is robbing somebody blind. 
but they have been planning your demise. And the thing is, your person may, your, 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 your twin may be a little more religious and they try to convict your person saying it's God using the, using the Lord's name in vain to control your person. It clearly has been working. Then they use that same trap to trap your person and trying to trap your energy. Something, something funny going on here. This, 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 this was a spiritual trap. Because uh, I hear spiritual, both of you all have been spiritually booby trapped or trying to be spiritually booby trapped, booby trapped by an opportunity, an opportunist that has been planning y'all's demise. And this person knows y'all are twins. And so it's like, it's, it's like, so, this is, this could be a, if this is not a physical person, this is a major entity. This is high level warfare at its best. So this person or this entity, the plan is to destroy the both of you for their selfish gain. My God. Let's say your person is, you know, been using you to ask you for stuff, doing stuff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but giving it to somebody else because this other person, somebody has mind control over this person. I'm sorry to say it's some sort of mind control. That's why you have to ascend extremely high because it forces your person to come up. They can't get you on a certain level. They can't get you on a certain vibration. You keep heightening in the spirit. So your person can see what's really going on. What's really being done to them. Ooh, I'm a... See this right here called Souls, Gift, and Training. It's time to step up. This came up inverted. Someone here is someone here is pimping someone out there calling. That's their gift. That's their ability. It is. It's simple. Just like a, a pimp. Uh, I, I heard like a, yeah. I hope there's no preacher doing this. That's what it sounds like to me. For some of y'all, they see your calling, but they're benefiting from it. A pulpit pimp. <laughs> My God. Because you all have higher ranking, authority, spiritual gifts and abilities. But they are keeping y'all divided. That's why God keeps taking y'all higher. The higher you go, the spirit recognizes. The soul knows what spirit recognizes spirit. It's going to make this person recognize you if it hasn't already when you walk away. Because you detach emotionally. So you see this person clearly. Some of you all can say, well, this is my twin doing this. I can't tell you that it's not because you would know because that does look suspicious here. So you could say, hey, yeah, this is my twin doing this. And the thing of the matter is your twin is being controlled by a higher force. This is a very high level warlock, a very high level spirit. If this is not a spirit, this is a person that's been, that's been operated by a spirit to manipulate and mislead your person for the selfish gains of what you all bring with, with your calling, your pers purpose, your soul gifts. Mm -mm -mm. I, didn't I tell you were lifting the veil from that person? Lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. See, this is how your twin is starting to recognize something ain't right because they're realizing they're being pimped, they're being prostituted, they're being raped, they've been molested, they've been misled, they've been lied to, they've been bamboozled, they've been hoodwinked. Somebody here, this, somebody here has a bunch of religious figures in their ear. I hear that spiritual stuff is the devil. That's what they've been telling your person. And that's why your twin recognizes you know, I say, well, are they, is it really the devil? But they're trying to make you look like you're the devil as well. But like, I, bam! The wealth of the righteous is stored up for 
excuse me, pause, pause, pause. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. See, that's why I don't fuck with them Christians. That's why people will not do that. That's what is going on here. Somebody is trying to make you look wicked, but they can take your money. Use your ability for their self for, for their selfish gain to make them look good. Cause you are declared to be the wicked. How damn wicked is that shit? The wealth of, that's what they're saying. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. Making you look wicked. But it ain't wicked to lie, to steal from you, to manipulate you, to hold back from you. And talking about they ask no God. Get the hell out of here with this shit. Lastly, star babying, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. Your person might have been fooled like a mother sucker here by some religious damn devils. These are high level devils. People that may know the Bible in and out. They may know Genesis or Revelation. But they misuse it. These are religious devils. They have gotten in the midst of these twin flame journeys. A lot of them. But they sit here and try to see a shit Making cards and, and bracelets and shit with names and stuff on them. And want to see a business card. Hell no. That's why I'm not taking shit for nobody. If it ain't something I created, I will not promote it. That's a tactic somebody is using. They're the wicked. We're going to make that stuff good. This is, this, is some, this is spiritual, high level spiritual manipulation. Well, God is getting to get in the midst of this right here. He's going to separate all of this. He's going to rightly divide it. You're going to know who the wheat was and who the hell the damn tear was as well. The damn devils. These damn religious devils. All of them ain't like that. Every Christian ain't wicked. Well, unfortunately, these in this reading, they are. Star keepers. Cosmic ancestors. See the light. By staying grounded. That's how you gonna know. Cause you are, you, you have a high calling. And these little religious devils can see that. You and your person. But it's a strategy used against you all. Religion and spirituality. Why can't we all just get along? The cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life mm, a moving prayer. They can't even touch you. They, dumb, they ass too damn dumb. These are the asses right here. See, when they talk about those 40 acres and a mule, that's when they have convinced somebody. Like, you're, like you are the twin. You are the 40 acres. Excuse me. They have to get their 40 acres through you because you are their mule, their ass. Your person being an ass is someone that's trying to make both of y'all out to be an ass. Child, I can't say it no more. This is a damn karmic relationship. I know nobody in time, nobody asked karmically, and they, they a whole damn karmic on religious dummy. This is a dumbass here. This is somebody in a karmic relationship with someone that's extremely religious, and they use the religion wrong. They use scripture to beat people down. To take from people, mislead people, lie to people. They're misleading your twin to make this person mislead you, but steal from you. This person going to go straight to hell. They going straight to hell with gasoline draws on. I'm so mad right now. I can't. been so much conflict between you all right here because of these people that's been leading your person straight to hell or however this is working you them somebody here these people going straight to hell for this with gasoline draws on all paths lead home inner authority intuition turn your gaze within that's why that's why you had to detach emotionally
Because it wasn't making sense. Your person is connected to a karmic religious figure or person. And this person, the polarity, it's the opposite of who your person is. It doesn't, their soul growth, they're, they're, it's stunning. It's conflicted. They're very conflicted with this person. Because this person is very manipulating, very misleading, religiously. Something is about damn religion. Religion here. I'm a, 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 I'm a pause this here and go to part two. They going to hell. I don't even say that. That's all I keep hearing. They going straight to hell with gasoline drawers on for what they doing to y'all. What they thought they did. Because something about y'all are anointed. I hear them. I hear the Holy Spirit. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. You all have a call for mission. That will outgrow. If this is a religious figure that's, you know, like a leader, your mission and your, your assignment is going to outgrow that person or these people, this group, this society, this church, whatever. Yeah. Capricorn. Who is it? Yeah. Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Leo, and Cancer. Your person had, I keep hearing cancer. It's like a cancer. It's eating them away. It's a religious cancer that's been rotting your person out. You could have gotten infected. Good thing you did detach emotionally. Because you can't be swayed. You can't be manipulated. Your emotions. I feel like some of you all definitely. Yes, these, these people have. Y'all, oh my God. These people were really pimping y'all. For money. Money. Money, money, money. And power. The hell? Who does this? And call on the name of God. But then get mad when I cuss up here. Because your asses ain't shit. Your ass ain't right. You a damn heathen. You're going to bust the gates of hell. Wide the hell open. With gasoline drawers on. I wish I could. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to get a, a match lit to their ass for this. These people know that this journey, that twins exist. They're going to hit two birds with one stone. Trying to confine y'all. Because you have a high calling. And because you can lift the veil, that's why you have to go higher. That's how your twin gonna see though. That's why you have to detach emotionally because that person can't connect to you. It's a certain vibration. They keep changing your frequency just so you know. I see that. I been saw that. I wasn't gonna say it, but that's what it is. That's why you're experiencing these changes. Because it's, it's gonna wake this person up from these damn religious devils. I'm going to part two. Peace and blessing. Great day. Somebody is a whole of a bunch of religious devils that are beating them with a religious whip. Slaves. That's what they're doing. Enslaving your person. Great day. Namaste.